Yo, what is good, everyone? Your boy Deke back again with another vid. In this one, we got some breaking news, man. Pittsburgh Steelers have released former Pro Bowl guard David DeCastro. I'm surprised. I'm also not surprised at the same time because Steelers just brought in five-time Pro Bowler Trey Turner on a visit last week where we all thought guard was the position of certainty on the offensive line. We have at left guard, Kevin Dotson, had a really good rookie season coming into his second year. And then at right guard, we have Dave DeCastro, who is an all-pro on a Hall of Fame trajectory. Obviously, probably had his worst season last year, but we chalked it up to injuries and thought, man, you know, if he's healthy, we're going to be fine at right guard. And we were going to be fine at left guard. So why did we bring in Trey Turner for a visit? Dave DeCastro wasn't practicing. He wasn't talking to the media. He was like the only one on the roster doing those things. So putting two and two together, you're just like, what is going on with DeCastro? Is he going to retire? Is he just simply not healthy at this point? And he's just going to let time try to help heal his injuries. And then we'll find a more definitive answer when training camp comes around. Or were the Steelers also just concerned about the injuries and just doing their due diligence? It meant something, though. We didn't know exactly what, and we thought some type of decision was going to be made in the next however many weeks. Came a little bit sooner than I thought, but yeah, the Steelers have decided to release former Pro Bowler David DeCastro. Now, the most interesting thing about this is that the Steelers released David DeCastro as opposed to the Steelers and DeCastro maybe coming to some sort of agreement and DeCastro just retiring. So it is up in the air if DeCastro is still going to be playing in the NFL He's gonna if he's going to be looking for another team. Is, is this going to be an Al Villanueva type situation? The other question is, why did they wait this long to release DeCastro because of the cap savings that we do have currently but may have been nicer to have earlier in the free agency period? I think we end up saving around like 7 or $8 million with this release. I don't have the numbers off the top of my head, but we were at about $7.5 million in cap space right now with this release. We're probably in the $15, $16, $17 $17 million range. So that makes you think the Trey Turner signing is going to happen probably at some point and probably at some point soon. And then there's probably another two or three signings we need to make, whether it's Malik Hooker, whether it's maybe a veteran cornerback. But yeah, I think... I think we just got to trust the Steelers on this one. The Castro was definitely not himself last year. And whether he's a little bit banged up right now, whether he's not all the way into it, I think the Steelers have a good feel for this. So I'm not too, too distraught about this. Mainly based off how DeCastro has been playing. It, it, it wasn't the same DeCastro. It sucks because it's just time, man. Like, DeCastro was a staple on this offensive line in those mid-2010s. I mean, it was an era. It was just a different era. Now I think everyone is gone from that offensive line. Ben and Juju are kind of like the only two remaining. I guess you can consider Juju on the tail end of that whenever he came in in 2017. But like we have a whole new roster right now. So it is kind of sad from that standpoint. But in terms of winning a championship in this upcoming season... I don't think this is a bad move. I really don't. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I'm sure we're going to be chopping it up about this on the podcast. We're going to be recording at some point tomorrow. So let me know. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay chilling. Peace.